<laughs> hey guys, welcome back to our channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Mary, and if you're returning, welcome back. If you're into all things interior design, DIY, check out our empty house tour and the rest of our other videos. Interested in investing in real estate or knowing how to buy land, you want to stick around. This is your one-stop shop for all. All right, so getting into why we're here today, thank you to everybody who watched our last couple of videos, commented everything and everything and everything. Um, I can't contain myself. My side table for that corner over there is finally here and I'm super excited. Okay, disclaimer, it's not actually a side table. It's meant to be a coffee table, but my living room slash family room has such a, it's so wide that a traditional side table would not work. So I'm really excited about this side table that I will be using because it's not only beautiful, but it actually is going to be very, very functional for us. For those of you who remember when we were laying out the rugs and things, I said I was looking for a table that I could put in that corner. I could sort of stash our laptops and other computers and things that we use in the living room from time to time away, but in something that still looks really pretty. And I am here to say, we did it. So. For those of you that do follow us on Instagram, and if you don't, go follow us on Instagram. But for those of you that do, you may have seen a reel that I put out with this table when I first unwrapped it the other day. But stick around, you're gonna see me put, to, put the table together. We're gonna style the table. I also found a really, really cute table for this other corner here. And you'll be surprised where I got it from and how much it was. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Stick around, let's go. I'm really excited about the table, guys. Look at how cute the cover is. I'm gonna put it on in a minute, but I wanted to show you just how much storage is inside there, which is awesome for us because, like I said, we end up having a lot of cords and things sometimes and shooting videos, just a place to be able to fold some of those quick items that you need and put, the, put it into. So I'm really excited about this cute and functional storage solution. I've actually had this vase for a long time now. Um, it's a faux potted plant that I got, I think, from Target a while ago. So it was a little bit taller than I would like, I think, for this table. I think it was about this tall. So I went ahead and I clipped a little piece of the stem off because I think it's actually meant to be more of a floor plant, but I want to use it on this table. So I did clip a little bit off of it at the very top. And yeah, I don't know. I'm going to see what I can do with this extra piece that's left. And I'm just grabbing some vases that I have around the house from like old orchids and things or um, life plants that might have died. <laughs> Now I'm just grabbing this lamp that I purchased from Target a while back. I wanna say it was like 60 bucks or something. It was really inexpensive, but I really like it because it just, it's unique. I love the arm and it really adds that mid-century modern vibe that I'm looking for in my space. And so I'm just gonna grab this and I think I want it looking like it's sort of shining down towards the table or the plant. 
and I'm going to get that plugged in. I'm gonna loop the wire sort of under the carpet beneath it and then plug it into the wall from there. I love this. I think this lamp was the perfect addition to the space. I love the angle of light that it's giving. I love this drum table and the little handles, just how the handles act as if they're just additional accents on top of the table. And I just grabbed some old vases and things I had laying around the house and used that to style the table. I can definitely see myself um, taking these items off later and styling them like for the season. Like I could put Christmas decor on here. I can also see myself taking everything off and just leaving it completely bare just because I'm thinking about the amount of times we're probably going to need to go into that table to retrieve items. I'm thinking of the fact that we're using it largely for our additional electronics, but I did want to show you guys how you could potentially style a table like this. I did get this table from West Elm. It's called their round storage drum table, I believe. Um, and it has three options you can select from. There's one that's all black on the perimeter and the base. And I think the top is wood colored. And then there's one that's like a lighter wood tone, but I thought this brass drum with the black pedestal on the feet and the wood really tied in best with my space. And so that's what I selected for this option. But just look at how it looks in respect to the rest of the room. It's stunning, guys. I'm going to show you a full view of the room once we're done, but I'm going to go ahead and grab my last item. This table I'm really, really excited about. I am going to be putting it right here for now, but ultimately it's either going to stay here or it's going to go to that corner over there because I have some things in my mind. But I'm really excited about this table and I wanted to share it with you guys because look at the design of the table. It really, really, really has a sleek, nice modern look to it. And it's got this wood look and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and that it was gonna pair really well with my space. Now, the best part of this table to me is that it was $109. You guys know finding a really cute accent table or side table can be really, really expensive these days. I've seen side tables in the thousands. I've seen side tables in the high, you know, 300s, 400s, 500s. So to have something that has this really cute aesthetic for $109, I thought was an absolute steal. So this is the heart and hands um, it's called wood accent table, but yeah. I'm really excited about it and I'm just going to be placing it right here. It does have something at the bottom for you to be able to adjust it. If you needed to adjust it, let's say your floor was uneven or the area was uneven. So I'm really excited about that, but it really just meets my needs right here. And I'm not planning to put anything on it because a lot of times, you know, having a drink or something, I'll be looking for somewhere to place that while I'm sitting here working after putting the kids to bed. So I'm really excited about that. It's a statement enough on its own. I'm not planning to style it or do anything with it. I don't want it, the space to look overly cluttered. Plus, it's really gonna be a table for me to be able to set things down while I'm working or just relaxing in here. I'm just 
really excited about how this place is turning out, guys. Like I had the vision in my head, but actually seeing it come out of my head and the space be laid out gets me really excited. So I'm a little bit concerned because I didn't think it was going to be so heavy. It's supposed to be a teeny tiny little table. So now I'm curious as to what size it is in here. But this is a drink table that I got and um, I got it from West Elm and I am going to be opening the box. I don't know if I'm going to have to put it together. We're actually going to see it for the first time. I only saw it online when I was selecting it before I ordered it. But um, so I'm gonna crack this bad boy open. We're gonna see if we have to put it together. And I think it's gonna be the perfect accent between my two side chairs. So on our previous video, you probably heard me saying that I wanted to get just a really, really small drink table because those side chairs are a popular spot for guests to sit when they visit us. And it's kind of like a far reach to get to the coffee table. Um, just because of how wide the living room is. So I wanted to put a little teeny tiny drink table there. So I'm really excited to open this. I'm really hoping I don't have to put anything together, but if I have to, let's do it. Okay, that looks like I have to put something together, which isn't horrible, but I was just hoping it was cool. the chair over a little bit and go ahead and place this Murray drink table in between and I'm just kind of looking around to see if it's the angle that I want it to be at and trying to determine if I want to face it so that that bar is towards the front or towards the back because the back of my chair already has a metal detail. So I'm trying to decide exactly where I want that bar on the back end of this drink table to fix. All right. I ultimately decided to have that metal side of the table face the inside of the living room. It just gives a little extra aesthetic appeal to the space to have that facing this way. I did consider having it face the back end of these chairs, but I'm going to show you what the back of the chairs look like. So this is what the back of those chairs look like. And I felt like having that metal stand end closest to this side sort of took away a little bit from the detail in this chair. And I wanted to preserve the detail in the chair and let that kind of be the focal point as you're walking into the living room. So I decided to flip the table the other way so that that way the leg is facing into the family room. So here's that table from Target. It looks beautiful in this space with the sofa. I think all the colors tie in really well together and just really give me that mid-century modern vibe I'm going for. Here is my storage table. Guys, this is actually a coffee table and it comes in two sizes. I just have a really wide family room and so this was going to be the best size as a side table for me. I believe this is the 32 inch, but it does also come as, I want to say a 40 inch as well, I believe. So here it is. Here's that old lamp I have from Target some old plants and things I had. I really like the accent on the table of the two buckles on the end. This table is from West Elm. Just kind of showing you the living room and how everything's looking. I will give you a complete view of the space. 
but I did want to talk about this Murray table. So this is what I meant. You see where the arm of that table is. It's facing into the living room and it just gives a little extra umph to those chairs when you're looking at it from this angle in the living room. I do think this was the best decision. Let me know what you think in the comments if I should have turned this table the other way, but I really just did not want this brass leg of the table competing for attention with the detail that's already on the back of these chairs. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed styling with me today. I'm really excited about my new table back there. Really excited about how that turned out with the lamp and the plants on it. Really excited about my little Target find and my other drink table here. So the live for those of you that have been here since the beginning, the space is just coming together every day. And I'm really excited to be able to share it with you all. Don't forget to leave any comments, any questions you might have. All right, guys. Remember, you can shop hand-curated decor pieces on our website, mycuratedhomepieces.com, and you can also book into your design consultations there. All right, guys, until next time. Joy fam.